Back in the old days of sail, a sailor would literally throw a lead weight on a rope over the side of the ship and figure the depth from how far the line ran before the weight hit the bottom. Titanic took this simple concept and scaled it up. On either side of the ship's bridge was fitted a 30 foot long pole called a sounding spar which could be swung out over the side of the ship. Then a heavy metal sinker attached to a cable could be dropped overboard. Readings could be taken with the help of a device called the Lord Kelvin's motorised sounding machine, which was kept on the boat deck just behind the bridge in a watertight case. The cable could run for 600 feet or 182 metres and attached to the end as well as the sinker was a cylinder which used differences in air pressure to take a depth sounding and record the result. There was a backup for this too. On a deck at either side of the ship was a small platform that could be dropped and secured in place. Just like on the sailing ships of old, a sailor could cast a weighted line himself over the side of the ship and count out how far the cable ran, 